chance to actually sit down for about an hour last night, and I enjoyed the final hour of the movie Steve Jobs. Now, I know it's been out for a while, but your Pratt Pack sometimes has to wait for it to show up on my Comcast television and enjoy it in the comfort of my own home because the schedule gets a little hectic at times. But, you know, we're getting ready for another Raja show tomorrow, and Raja and I are big fans of that Apple brand, and we talk about it a lot. You have Bryn Tillotson discussing the brand as well, and they too will be here this weekend, Sunday, from 9 a.m. until 11 a.m. You know, Steve Jobs, sadly, is no longer here. His daughter is here, though, carrying on that great name and who he really was, and I believe still is, an amazing visionary. But when you think about the timeline with he and people like Steve Wozniak and others, John Scully, it was an amazing time in our country's history, just as important as it was when George Westinghouse here in Pittsburgh discovered the air brake that is still being used in the railroad industry today. And, of course, J.P. Morgan of J.P. Morgan General Electric fame and Thomas Edison during that time when Mr. Edison discovered the light bulb. That's how significant this technology is still today. And we've been fortunate to have Regis McKenna on the program who was there in the early days when Mr. Wozniak and the great Steve Jobs were, well, getting on the launching pad in that garage out on the West Coast. That's right. That's how it all started. But I just want to take time to say this about Mr. Jobs. He was very driven, very passionate, and art truly does imitate life sometimes. And I'm sure maybe there were a few things left out, but what I admired the most in that hour of that movie I saw in an incredible performance by some amazing actors and actresses was the fact that Mr. Jobs was passionate about what he believed could guide the future. Sadly, he is no longer here but on behalf of all of us who love that entrepreneurial spirit, technology, and true grit, I just would like to take time to say to the Jobs family, and of course to the late Steve Jobs, thank you for giving us all this opportunity to navigate that super highway that will be driven on for many years to come because of your brand, Apple. So to Mr. Cook, the CEO, and to everyone at Apple, keep doing what you're doing. We're happy to be along for the journey. Don't forget, the Raja Show on the air tomorrow with Stephen D'Angelo from DCK Worldwide from 2 to 3 on KDK Radio.